Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Knowledge Bolide Hangout. It's been quite a while since you've seen us record some stuff. Doesn't mean we're not meeting every single week and learning more about meteorites. We've been doing a new little thing as a hangout. We've been playing this kind of game show trivia game about meteorites, and we figured why not? We think we're ready. We're going to share it with you guys and see how it works. So enjoy. All right. We have our 10 players and the rest are muted. Let's play Meteorites at Work. This, by the way, guys, this is our three-year anniversary as of last week, so congratulations. Ooh. First hey. question. Multi-select. Which of these are famous witness diagenites? Select the witness diagenites. Seven seconds. We only have five answers in. The correct answer is Tatooine and Belanga. Oh. Let's see how the scores are. Ah, uh, Bruiser got them correct and got them early. Prairie Girl, Bonstable, and Art. And of course, Patty is tied for last with everyone else. <laughs> I asked about Diagenites, and Milva Lily is a witness Eucrite, and Johnstown, not Johnston, is a Diagenite you were thinking. Uh, okay. oh, oh, yeah, that's what threw me was the town. Trick yeah. question. Trick yeah, question. Not, <laughs> not trick question, just intelligent question. Uh, which of these are famous witness Eucrites? Select the witness Eucrites. Five seconds. We only had six people and seven people answer. Most people said Passamonte and Statern. And one person said uh, Chavez for Matpai Pan. The lead, oh, Bruce stays in the number one position. Chondrules makes a meteoric rise as, so, as well as New York meteorite guy. I asked about Eucrites. Chavez and Motopai Pan are Howardites. And Motopai Pan was actually discussed last week when we were talking about my birthday falls on June 2nd. We mentioned it's a Howardite from... Uganda, I think. No. Botswana. Botswana. Thank you, babe. Okay. Where? So here we go. Next question. Get your fingers on your buzzers. Nickel concentration in iron meteorites are usually about what? Nickel concentration in iron meteorites. Ooh, people seem pretty confident. We got seven answers. Quickly, eight. The correct answer is five to 25%. See a nice little bell curve of wrong answers. <laughs> <laughs> New York Meteor Guy in first place. But man, look at this. This is tight. Within about 20 points is Prairie Girl, and Patty's right on her butt by about 14. Forrest Gump and Bruiser. So the chemical composition is dominated by the, uh, the elements of nickel and iron. There's also other percentages of trace elements in there, including cobalt and a few others. But if you're looking at information on the screen now, that could help you later on. Moving on. Double points. What do these abbreviations have in common? Oh, this is a tough one, Topher. That's 
It's all of our people. Wow. Okay. So the answer was location. Three people got it correct. Yeah. Academic <laughs> institution got the most wrong people. So who got it correct? Addy did. Oh, New York meteor guy. Patty is on fire with three in a row. Art Wagner. Yeah. Art. <laughs> Wagging his tail at everyone else. Prairie You're coming after me, Art. Fourth and Gumpmeister in last, not last, and fifth. Did you guys know what they were? They were the abbreviations for the dense collection areas in the Met Bowl for the Antarctic. Probably so the only knows. time in my life being an Ansmet fan will pay off. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Pat got I that totally one correct. said I read that one. Pat's going to get that one right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. The next question Multi select. Which of these famous, famous carbonaceous falls have a, have a chemical group named after them? Wow, took 12 seconds oh, for someone to answer for the first time. That's good. I shouldn't be allowed to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> we have about half the people and about a third the time left. This one hurt my head. You got 10 seconds. Wow, there's gonna be people who didn't answer. And time is up. The correct answer were CV and CR, but a lot of people said Murchison. Now we're on the scores. We see Bruiser is taking a rise. I think that's the only major change in the, in the score sheet at all. New York I'm Meter Guy still in there. New York Meter Guy still in first place. Patty is just a few hundred points below him. Art Wagner, what are you doing, boy? I love it. I don't know. Bring it up the rear. Really me. We got Bruiser and Prairie Girl on the podium so far. Yeah, go ahead, Pat. You were you were explaining the CM. The M is for McGehee, mm -hmm. and Garuda is for K. Yeah, not Murchison. And trivia, uh, bonus, cool points. Can anyone tell me what carbonaceous is on screen there? CV three. Allende. Allende and CV three, both correct answers. Both correct answers. All right. Nice. All right. We are moving on to the next question. True or false? Hexahedrites and octahedrites are official iron classifications. We have nine people. Oh my gosh, we split you down the middle. I cannot believe this. That's why I put this in there. A little bit of a learning in a second, but let's see who got it right. We got New York Meteor Guy in first place and the one to catch, but Prairie Girl and Forrest Gump are on the rise. Mm. Art Wagner, what are you doing? Third place. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Did he trick you guys, really? False. <laughs> oh, that's right. our, those are the classic structural classification system. We use the chemical classification system. So a lot of times people will discuss meteorites as being an uh, oxyhedrite or a hexahedrite or all this kind of yeah. stuff. That describes the metal structure inside, not the mm. chemical uh, structure and buildup and composition of that metal, which is how the meteors are actually classified. Good question. Good question. Thank you. I, I, when, when I can get half of this group to guess the wrong answer, have to do the right answer on a true and false. That's, yeah. that's what we're trying to do. Multi-select double points. Which are real mesosiderite classifications?
Your choices are A, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. Which are real? Select all the real ones. Oh, Bruiser took advantage of that one. Oh, now he is a force to be reckoned with, but New York Meteor guy has dug his claws in. Up four places, Monk Man is the highest climber. Way to go, Monk Man. <laughs> you fell victim to a classic blunder. <laughs> Mesosiderite A5 is not real. The I was, I was literally <laughs> looking at the, the classifications <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> now there are a bunch of different mesosiderites three slash four and all this but they're only classified from one to four so now that's one fact you will learn tonight or if you learn nothing else that mesosiderites go to a4 that's it you learn one fact job done next question iron meteorites are mainly composed of what One more person needs to answer. There we have it. Let's see. Seven people got it right. Three people got it wrong. Let's see who got it right. Oh, Marissa. Marissa shoots up into fifth place. And uh, New York meteor guy is still boring the crap out of us in first. Um, Patty, Bruiser, <laughs> and Prairie Girl are on the podium. <laughs> Now let's so talk about three answer streak. Oh yeah, three <clears throat> players had a three answer streak. Well, the correct answer was iron meteorites are mainly composed of nickel and iron, but 90% iron, only 5% nickel, and a little splash of cobalt, gallium, some other good baking ingredients in there. But those are, and that's the one I told you earlier, the answer is on the screen. So if you read ahead, that's the one. Next question. Which one of these is not a real iron classification? Which one is not real? Wow, eight answers this quickly. You guys are eager for points. <laughs> All right, IVC was a correct answer and six players got it. So let's see if those six players were <clears throat> on the leaderboard. Oh, Marissa, uh, see, she times it correctly. She just stays in the pack and then at the very end makes her sprint to the front. Marissa moves <laughs> up to fourth place. Yeah. Weird meteor guy. If I push this button, it ejects him from the game, I'd learn. <laughs> uh, we got Patty in second, Bruiser McNowski in third, Marissa and Prairie Girl. Now, Barnstable has a streak with four in a row. Yeah. Wow. The IVC is not an official or real meteorite identification or classification. So other questions will be on this chart. So study up buttercups. <laughs> Quiz time. Most iron meteorites originate from cores of planetesimals. Which one does not? Mm. Digging deep in your brain. All right, all answers are in. And look at it, nice little stepping stone. Um, the correct answer is I, I, E. They do not originate from planetesimals and three, only three people got it right. So let's see if those three are on the leaderboard or on the leaderboard now. Oh, Bonstable, five in a row pays off. He just, <laughs> just obliterates 
Marissa. I just pushed her <laughs> and, out of the way. And Prairie Girl. That hurt. And Prairie oh, Girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. So now we have New York Meteor Guy, Baruza McNowski, Patty, Forrest Gump, and Bonstable. <laughs> near the end here, so I don't know how many questions more there are, but <laughs> the IIE group of meteorites is has a mineral composition and oxygen isotopes that are similar to the H chondrites. So they are the ones that are going to have a lot more of the silicated materials in them. And as such, they think that they're actually the best candidate as an S-type parent body of six Herbie. Very cool. So Arizona State Busick Center for Meteorite Studies is named in honor of whom? How many of you are just absolutely guessing? No, yep. I remember. Whoa, I'm surprised. Good job. Six people got it right. Oh, <laughs> Marissa, back on the board. Back on the board. Forrest Gump, three in a row. Patty's in third. Bruiser and New York are battling out for first and literally... If New York guy sneezes and clicks the wrong thing, the game's over. <laughs> it's named oh, after oh. Peter Busick. So Peter Busick, thank you, sir. Last question, I think. Multi-select. Double points. Which of these are phases of nickel, al of nickel iron alloy? Pick any that are really phases of nickel iron alloy. Amosite, tanite, troilite, schreibersite, coenite, graphite. The correct answers were camasite and taonite. Yeah, so camasite and taonite are phases of nickel and iron. Um, if you want to learn more, good. Don't ask me. Ask Pat Brown or uh, Mike Kelly. They probably know more about it than I do. Oh, the game is over. Let's see where people landed. In third place with 60, just under 6,200 points was Patty. In second place, Bruiser. And on the leaderboard in first place, New York Meteor Guy. Yeah. Fourth place was Forrest Gump. Fifth place was Art. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, this is our three-year anniversary of the Knowledge Ball at Hangouts. We haven't missed a single week in three years it, did i say weeks it's years we've been doing it for three years we haven't wow. missed a week yet so um hopefully you enjoyed this kind of content where we play a game and learn if you have a good name for this or if you have any suggestions please drop them in the comments below thanks a lot guys own your universe <laughs>